democracy has to come from inside the people in their own particular setting, in their own country, the way they want it. You don't have to do high policy in order to make a difference. You begin to re-knit societies from literally the, the bottom levels up. There is a lot of hidden power amongst those people, ordinary citizens on the grassroots level. It's very hard to just sit in a room and say, cooperate. But if you actually have to do things together, build a house or get children to school or work on a particular program, that serves as a device to bring people together. It's about how creative we are and it's about our wish to make some changes. We are driving to Mostar to meet Amira, Snežana, Ifeta, Mirena and some other women who are ready to make better future for all of us. I think that they are proud and they are brave, they are tolerant and they are human. They are ready to change. It was active hatred of people going in and, and butchering people or pushing them out in the middle of the night or burning their houses. I remember, you know, flying over, you could see pinpoint ways that houses had been burned. It was just barbarism that was going on. And I, as a child of World War II, I thought, how could this possibly be happening again? My husband left for the funeral of my sister's husband. He was killed on the way there. My whole world fell apart. Everything that I ever wished for or hoped for or dreamed about was destroyed that day. It happened in 1993. My older daughter was 12 and my younger one, 6. Just seven days later, my house was destroyed by mortar fire. My husband was in the Croatian army. Horrible things happened, really horrible. In 1992, he was pronounced missing. His whole brigade was besieged by Bosniak troops. For a month and a half, we didn't know what was happening to him. War changed everything. The people changed. The people migrated. They moved on places. Some people, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see them again. Mostar was a multi-ethnic town, and, it, and in so many ways, what happened there is symbolized by this bridge there was such concern that the Muslims might cross across the bridge that it was destroyed. Life has changed somehow. Those friends that we had then, and who we considered to be our true friends, were not friends anymore because of the war and what happened. The bridge has been rebuilt, but the town has not really come back together again. The city is dead. I hate the division. This is my country, where I live in. We have to cooperate. We have to resolve the issues. We have to talk about it. We have to communicate better. The hardest thing about what we're trying to do 
is to persuade people to build coalitions because if you've been in a position where you hate some other part of your society, then to decide that the only way to get ahead and to make things better is to form a coalition and to share power, that is a very difficult concept. And the ICE role at the beginning was to develop women's advocacy initiatives. We succeeded to put together 20 women from different NGOs and political parties that never like had a chance to sit together and to talk about the issues of the common interest. The first meeting was absolute blast. It was like full of energy. I cannot say uh, was it like positive or negative energy, but it was full of energy. And they really fight each other. Almost aggressive, this almost started a fight. Uh, but Tanya and I, we understood that. We understood that they didn't have a chance to speak about any of, to meet each other even before. These are not the women who are going to cry about the troubles. They're going to put up with these troubles and they're going to fight for it. At the first meeting, Tanya encouraged us to focus on one initiative. So we all agreed to push for a law that provides for paid maternity leave, a hot topic here. 